thanks for coming. Um, you know, <coughs> busy schedules, and I just wanted to take a little time, get everybody together, particularly over the last uh, six weeks, or approaching six weeks now. Actually, since the middle of August, we, we've kind of been busy with Dolly and Gustav and Ike and then Storm Wall Street that uh, kind of swept through. And so all of those are, um, had an impact on the state and, and this, uh, uh, you know, America's kind of going through turbulent times economically and, and so I thought it was wise for us to sit down around the table and get some real time information. I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna be in a highly intensive listening mode so it, this, it, it won't be completely uh, one way but it'll be mostly y'all just sharing with me a little bit of what you're seeing in your respective uh, industry sectors and um, you know, kind of what people are seeing on their sales floors and, what the receipts are, uh, some of the anecdotal uh, evidence of, uh, uh, in your particular. I, I just want to get a, a, a good handle on uh, <clears throat> what's happening across Texas. I mean, I've traveled around probably as much as anyone from the standpoint of, of you know, driving into San Antonio or getting up to Dallas and, and, uh, and a lot of the rural areas too and talk to them back and forth on the phone a lot. So I've, I've, I've got, I think I have a pretty good idea about what you're going to be sharing with you. I mean, when you look at uh, Texas, we find ourselves in a, um, a rather uh, peculiar uh, perch relative to the rest of the country from the standpoint of you know, budget surplus and uh, the, the continual creation of jobs. And um, day before yesterday, I was in San Antonio talking to a home builder, and uh, they were talking about. Last year they built 14,000 new homes and they're projecting to build 7,000 next year. You know, that's a huge decline, but we're still building homes. And, you know, you go to Miami uh, and places in California where, boy, would they dearly love to have that type of uh, uh, building going on. So, but I know that, that uh, you know, we're, we're preparing to deal with uh, a international and national slowdown. Uh, today, driving in, report that spending was down 23%. I'm sure that's a, a national number. Um, and <clears throat> so as a government, we need to be very sensitive to those caution lights that are flashing out there. And, and uh, um, although, we do have an economic advantage in Texas at this particular point in time because of some really good decisions that you all helped uh, make and implement over the course of particularly the last five years. Um, I sent a letter to all the state agencies basically saying, listen, we need to really be thoughtful as we go into this legislative session. In preparation for that, you need to be looking at places that you can cut back on discretionary spending, get ready for, um, you know, cutting spending. I think you're going to hear that over and over again from the legislature as they, as they meet, and rightfully so. And so those agency heads and, and uh, some of the agencies that regulate uh, your industries, uh, I hope you will share with them my very serious nature of, of uh, that wasn't an exercise. Uh, it was a uh, pretty strong suggestion. So, uh, because the fact of the matter is, that's what Texans expect. Uh, they expect us to be wise and thoughtful, cautious as this economy uh, slows down. And, and uh, <clears throat> the credit issues, uh, you know, obviously, you know, in y'all's business, that's going to be kind of, I'm going to start with you. And I think that that's a good one to start with here when we do that. And, you know, what are the projections on? on hirings, uh, projections on uh, any cutbacks that you hear people talking about. In, in, uh, and I guess kind of wrap it up with uh, be, be thinking about 
what are some of the regulatory barriers that are that are still out there that you have some concerns about the, some tweaking that may need to be um, you know we obviously are, are going to deal with the, the whole TWIA insurance issue this next session of the legislature